Hey everybody, Terry Daniel here. I want to show you a couple of things on Adobe Audition CS 5.5, the greatest recording software ever invented. If anybody tells you to get Sony SoundForge or Pro Tools or anything else, I want you to punch them as hard as you can in the face. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, everybody has different tastes to what they really like to use. It's the same thing as, you know, are you comfortable on a Mac? Are you comfortable on a PC? Do you like the Droid or do you like the iPhone? It works uh, very similar with recording software. But what I want to show you on CS 5.5 in just a moment are a couple of tricks that will help you in the audition process when you audition for some of the membership sites like Voices.com and Voice123. So, Let's go to CS 5.5, shall we? All right, here we are at Adobe Audition CS 5.5. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to record something uh, in my regular settings, which would be a sample rate of 44100. You can see that right there. And I always uh, record in 24-bit mono. Here we go. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Remember, this is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. All right. I was trying to think of something a little more clever, but uh, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> All right. And by the way, this is not a tutorial on editing. That will be uh, perhaps in a future video or so. Or you could look up my uh, buddy Scott Scooter Fortney. He's got a series of videos on Adobe Audition. Uh, just look him up on YouTube, and uh, I've got nothing on him, so he can show you how to do that stuff. Uh, all right, so here's my basic mono recording, and let's play it back to make sure that it recorded. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Remember, this is only a test. All right, I don't need to hear my own voice. I hear it enough. But what I want to do is I'm just going to add just a little bit of compression, just to add a little bit of meat and potatoes to the recording. I'm not going to build it up into this big robotic, uh, huge type sound, but I just want to put just a little sugar on the recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to effects. I'm going to go to amplitude and compression. I'm going to pick multiband compressor. That's my favorite one. Now, I don't know what any of this stuff means. I just know what sounds good. I'm not an audio technician by any stretch of the imagination. I just play around with things until something sounds cool. So what I do is I use one of their uh, their built-in settings. I use the broadcast setting. Now, if you notice right here, it's at zero. That's going to maybe give us just a little bit, just a little too much thump, especially if you're doing a commercial read. Uh, so I'm going to bring it down to minus three. This will give us, and then hit apply. This is going to beef it up and give us just a little bit of compression in the recording. Now... Uh, let me make one thing clear. If you are auditioning for a talent agent, uh, at least 98% of the time, they just want the dry recording. So please do not do this if you're listed with talent agents. Don't pour any, don't pour any extra syrup on the pancake. Uh, they're just not going to like it. Just send in the dry recording. Um, but with the pay-to-play sites like Voices.com or uh, Voice123, I think sometimes... Uh, this really does help your recordings, and I think it makes your recordings stick out from you know the rest of the uh, the rest of the the talents that are sending in auditions. Now listen to how I beefed it up. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Remember, this is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. It just puts a little bit of extra thump in the recording beefs it up a little bit and this is a really good idea for those of you that do not have XLR studio condenser mics that are powered by a preamp and you just have like an AT2020 or a uh, Blue Yeti USB mic you know this is a good way to to just kind of enhance the recording and you can even normalize it to really to bring it up just a little bit more I always uh, where is it now I have a shortcut key so I can never ever find it when I go into these drop down menus there it is right there uh, I have mine set at industry standard, um, minus 0 0.3 decibels, and you can see it kind of brought it up just a little bit more, so now it should be a pretty beefy recording. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Remember, this is only a test. Just gives you that little extra, that, uh, that little extra thump. Now, when you're working directly with a client, like if it's a marketing person, a production director, an audio-visual director at a corporation or whatnot... Um, sometimes they really don't want the extra processing on there either. 
Um, most of the times when you record from home, you're just going to lay down the, the dry voiceover and somebody's going to produce it on their end. But again, the reason that I just put together this tutorial is when you're auditioning on Voices.com, Voice123, or Bidalgo, uh, three excellent audition membership sites, uh, I think it's okay to just put a little bit of sugar in the cereal, if you know what I'm saying. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again for watching the video.